Some runners taking advantage of today's weather to continue to show solidarity in the Ahmad Arbery case. Mara Sirianni joining us live from Covington, where neighborhoods have organized runs for Arbery. And Mara, there are actually a couple of runs scheduled for today. Yeah, that's right. So neighborhoods here in Covington are coming together for Ahmad Arbor. We asked if he has any kind of specific connection to this community or the neighborhood in Covington here. They say no. They just were really struck by this story and wanted to come out and show their support. So I'm not sure if you can see behind me. Uh, yeah, you can. There are some people kind of gathering here. This next walk or run is at 10 o'clock this morning, but I want to show you some video from that first one because it kicked off around 8 o'clock this morning. A lot of people again coming out in this neighborhood to show their support. Uh, this one taking place over at the Magnolia Manor Cooper Lake subdivision and organizers say they expect about 50 people at each run or more. You can see the crowd running there in that first one or walking. Uh, the second event is expected, as I said, to take off at 10 o'clock this morning here at the Silver Ridge subdivision. Now, of course, the latest developments in the case come as the GBI announced the man who recorded the fatal shooting has been arrested on charges, including felony murder. Officials say William Roddy Bryan Jr. witnessed the deadly encounter between the McMichaels and Arbery. Now in Georgia, authorities say a person can be charged with felony murder if he or she contributed to another person's death. Now, of course, we will continue to follow the very latest developments in that case. Uh, but meanwhile, again, uh, organizers of this run say even if you don't live in this neighborhood, um, but you wanted to get out and show your support. I know this story has definitely struck a chord with many all across our state and all across the nation. They encourage anyone who's watching just to get out. Uh, you see they're wearing their white shirts in support again of Ahmad Arbery. Mm, shows you how deeply it has resonated with communities that don't even have any connection to the Arbery family. Thanks a lot, Mara.